This particular design was commissioned for Mercedes-Benz World by a company called Storm Creative Communications Limited. They found me on the web and they wanted to use a local company to bring their concept into 3D. They wanted to make a really big impact with this particular project as it had to go into Mercedes-Benz World and then it was going to go on to um, Blue Water Shopping Centre. So from the concept drawings we get cracking and we get the polystyrene lumps and we create really big blocks and we stick them all together and then we start cutting with the hot wire as you can see me doing here. Now once I've taken off the bulk of material with a hot wire I then go to work with a chainsaw and this is fantastic for creating nice organic forms and, and the kind of planes and rock faces that you really want to achieve. This is the best part of the project for me as it's, uh, it's carving and that's what I am, a sculptor. Now working with a chainsaw does have its pitfalls and ups and downs. Uh, you see once you actually take the material off it's very difficult to put it back on again. Uh, and you, you kind of commit yourself once and for all. Uh, but that's probably the scary part and also the interesting bit as well. So once I'm actually working around the actual figure, I kind of whittle it down slowly and slowly until I, I end up with the forms I'm after. Uh, and then I home it in by using sanding brushes. Now obviously as you can see it's a very messy process with the chainsaw, say messy in terms of dust and polystyrene, so obviously it takes a long time in my studio to actually clean up, um, waft it all out as you can see me doing here, uh, and then I want to lay it all out nice and clean uh, so I can see it all without any kind of mess or, or interference really. People don't actually see this part of the process but it does actually take a long time. Then we go to work on sanding down with the um, wire brushes and then sandpapers to create nice sort of forms on organic surfaces. Once this process is done we waft off the polystyrene to make sure there's no loose um, polystyrene bead and then we give it a total foil to protect the resin without burning into the polystyrene. And here we are once again now using the fiberglass to create a nice tough shell um, is over the entire surface. This is quite a lengthy process as we've got to make sure that there's no breaches in the, in the actual foil and no holes missed in the fibreglass as well as we want to make sure um, the whole project is nice and secure. Here I am actually spraying on a kind of flexible concrete mix uh, which gives it a lovely texture and also it loses the fibreglass surface as well. Uh, this dries within about four or nine, five hours with a nice breeze. Nice and strong surface. Now we've actually coloured the um, flexible concrete with the grey so it's got a nice uh, primus colour underneath uh, and that's a good foundation for me to then spray onto. Now when the exhibition um, is actually up we want to make sure that there's no sharp bits or anything that can damage people's um, clothing or even hurt children if they rub their hands across it. As we found that in the past people like to touch the display. I am adding several colours so, to create a nice organic feel um, so your eye just don't um, stop on the sort of black and white sort of rock face. There's nice reds and greens in it as well. Um, this was a nice part to do as well. Well, every is, but every stage I enjoy. Now Martin from Fine Limit Welding he actually done the, um, the metal work for me. Thank you very much indeed Martin. Does a fantastic job every time. Um, and here I am just painting it to make sure that, um, that everything looks smart and it doesn't rust in the future. Now we're on the middle section we actually created a black uh, cloth that hides all the metal work so when the car's on display it looks smart. And here we have a couple of ramps that um, enables, en enables the 4x4 to get up on there and then the ramps get hidden underneath. I decided to put some plant and greenery around it just to soften the rock face up and, uh, and just really dress it and make it feel a little bit more free flowing. We also wanted the, um, the 4x4 to be splashed with mud as if it's been through its paces. So here we have made a special mix up um, 
which had a, a, a slight colour in it as well as, as, as to hold on to the car and we made it a certain consistency then it would hold and not run. Although it seemed quite a simple thing to do at the time, um, it's it quite a complicated in the sense we had to get it just right um, as we couldn't have several goes at this. Now it's quite important that we involve the clients at this stage because um, uh, they know exactly the sense of feeling that they're after and what they're trying to achieve. So it's good that they're here and they're, put, and they're giving me their input. Um, and also I'm making sure that they get what they want at the end of the day. Now understanding their needs, I was really um, keen to get a sense of adventure and fun in this vehicle. It's a really tough, rugged Mercedes called an ML350 uh, CDI. And we wanted to make sure that everyone who sees this really feels as if, it can, as if they can put it through its paces, really. Once we've finished this part of the process, we get it in display in, inside the showroom and then we put on the transfers and we, uh, we add more splashes up, to, up onto the windows uh, and we dress it and make sure that everything's looking right and fitting the space. Now on the first part of the display, we found that the mud dried out a little bit, so we added um, pigments and, and adhesives to the mud so it actually stays on and make a better quality texture as you can see here. So when it goes into blue waters, it actually looks a, a little more refined and we've kind of improved the technique as we moved along. So first of all, from the concept drawings to the polystyrene blocking out and using the hot wire, then to cutting with a chainsaw and getting the organic rock face that we want, have a little clean up and assemble the whole thing as one unit. And then we sand down each individual piece to make sure there's no pieces or um, breaking off or feel a little bit loose at all. Cut the whole entire set into individual pieces so it then can be um, set up on display. And then we foil the rock face and then we fiberglass the entire surface and then we spray it with a flexible concrete rub down the entire surface to make sure it's safe for everybody to handle in the general public spray it with paints the metal work made and then primed and painted assemble the whole thing as one unit and then dress it with flowers and bits of greenery splash the entire car with a mud solution inviting the client to see it in each and every stage during the process and then finally put it on display in the um, Mercedes-Benz world. This was quite an interesting project in a sense that it had to come apart and then be put up in blue waters uh, and then get put back into Mercedes-Benz world uh, and we wanted to keep it quite simple in the fact that it just sort of pushed together and the rock formation sort of had its own natural breaks but I think it worked quite well um, and the mud also like we went on a bit of a learning curve um, we perfected it as, as we went along uh, but I think it worked out well in the end. I would like to thank Storm Creative Communications for this work. Thank you very much.